Hi guys, it's me, Grandma Lily, and it is time for story time with Grandma Lily. So, as you know, I'm sure if you're paying attention, Grandma Lily did not have a book for you yesterday. It was a very long day, a lot of stuff happened, but you know what happens. When Grandma Lily misses a day, she does two stories the next day. So I'm going to do two stories. I am not going to put them together. So I'm going to stop one and then I'm going to start again so that you can just pick which one to watch if you want. But what I'm going to tell you is that this month, which starts today is June 1st. It's the first, it's summer month in a couple of weeks. It's summer. And we are going to be reading some different books this month. Some books that we remember and we love, Dr. Seuss books and, and corduroy books and other books that, that we love and other books that I read to my kids when they were young. But we're also going to be reading some very special books because in June, it is June is called Pride Month. And that means that we are proud of who we are and we celebrate who we are and we celebrate everything about us, about our families, about who we are. It doesn't matter who we love. It doesn't matter how we look. It doesn't matter anything about us. We are still proud to be us and we love everybody, right? So I'm going to read a book for you today. Um, that is, it's a little, it's interesting. It's about a little different kind of people. Um, it's got some really nice paintings in it. And then I'm going to start off Pride with my very first Pride book. And so I will let you know um, when I'm done what you can come back and watch. And that will be the second book that I read. Okay, so. Um, my babies, Elijah and Jordan, are sleeping. They had a great day today. They ran around. They played with the dogs. They had so much fun. And they had macaroni and cheese. They love my macaroni and cheese. And tomorrow, they're going to Uncle Jaja's house. And they are just so excited about that. So, to them who are sleeping. And to Kylie Rose, I love you. I miss you. I hope you're taking care of your mommy. And to my granddaughter, Serenity, I love you so much. So, Get your stuffies and get your cookies and milk and get whatever you want. And we're going to read a book right now. The first book we're going to read tonight is called Snow Bear. And it's by somebody named Jean Craighead George. And the paintings are by somebody named Wendell Miner. And this looks like it takes place in some place like Alaska because they're wearing a really big coat and it's cold in Alaska. So let's see what this book is about. Okay, so we're going to read this book as Snow Bear. Let's see. And it's to Johnny T Tundra from JCG, who I guess is Jean Craighead George. And to my brother Kent by WGM, who is Wendell Miner. And there we see this picture a little bit more. It looks, like I said, it looks like a, maybe an Eskimo with a, that looks like a polar bear. Maybe that's why they call it a snow bear. One spring twilight, the frozen Arctic Ocean pushes up a huge block of ice near the shore. It looks like a ship. Bessie Niviak puts on her parka, her boots, and her mittens. She wants to climb aboard the ice ship and pretend she is sailing to beautiful places. And there she is putting on all of her stuff. And there's the iceberg. That looks pretty big, huh? And there are the footprints through the snow. Isn't this a beautiful picture? Vincent Niviek, her brother, is hunting for food. He sees the bear tracks following the sis his sister. Bessie is in danger. Mother polar bears kill people who threaten their cubs. He follows the tracks. So I guess those are bear tracks and little girl tracks. So Vincent is going to go help his sister. There he is. And there's... These paintings are beautiful. Nanook, the mother polar bear, smells Vincent and his gun. Snow Bear, her cub, is in danger. Humans kill bears. 
So remember, remember when we read Blueberries for Sal? The same thing, right? The bear was scared of the, the little girl. The little girl was scared of the bear. Bessie goes one way around the ship. Snow Bear goes the other way. They meet on the far side. They don't look too unhappy. They look kind of friendly, don't they? Up on the ice ship, Vincent watches Bessie playing with Snow Bear. Little cubs are friendly. Up on the ice ship, Nanook watches Snow Bear playing with Bessie. Children are friendly. So see, they're having a lot of fun, the bear and the little girl. Vincent looks for Nanook. Nanook looks for Vincent. Vincent remembers his, father, his father's words. The Arctic cannot be rushed. If we wait, the answers will come. Vincent waits. Nanook waits. And here's a picture, and if you look really closely, you can even see Vincent's breath. Actually, you can see Nanook's breath, too. That's a big polar bear. Snow Bear climbs up on the ice, ice ship. He flops on his belly and slides down to Bessie. Bessie climbs. She slides down to Snow Bear. Snow Bear runs in circles. His fur and his fat make him hot. He digs a snow cave and sits in it. Bessie is cold. She sits beside Snow Bear. I bet he's keeping her warm. Vincent waits. Nanook waits. Bessie and Snow Bear wait. The Arctic will not be rushed. Inside the snow cave, Bessie grows warmer. Inside the snow cave, Snow Bear grows cooler. Look at them snuggling up to each other. Vincent sees the enormous bear. He is more dangerous than a mother bear with a cub. Snow Bear sees the enormous bear. Bessie sees the enormous bear. The male bear smells Vincent's gun. He slides back into the water. Snow Bear and Bessie run back the way they came. So there was another polar bear that was coming after them. Nanook and Snow Bear walk farther inland. They will eat sedges and lemmings until Snow Bear is so big, no male bear will hunt him. Vincent and Bessie walk home to eat, go to school, and learn the wisdom of the Arctic like Eskimo children do. And that is the end of Snow Bear. So that was a very interesting book. We learned about Bessie, who is a an Eskimo. And they, this is the kind of warm clothes they wear. And when they live up by the Arctic Ocean, that's where polar bears hang out. And polar bears are really cute, right? They're like nice, cute white bears, but they can be very dangerous. So that is just something to see. Sometimes the little bears can be friendly, maybe, but we don't know that for sure. So the next time you're around a polar bear, be careful. Okay, guys, that is story number one. And now if you're done and it's time for you to go to bed, good night and Grandma Lily loves you. But if you want to come back in a few minutes, I'm going to read the first book for Pride Month. And that book is called Donovan's Big Day. Okay, so Grandma Lily loves you. I will see you in a little while. Bye-bye.